Hello everyone, welcome to my soap studio. Today I am here to test the Goliath soap mold by Custom Craft Tools. You may have seen the unboxing and the video making um, a soap in their clear slab mold. Now today I'm testing the regular Goliath, which is a 14 by 16 inch um, HDPE plastic with silicone liner slab mold for cold processed soap making. So today I am making a soap that is scented in Palo Santo, which is a fragrance oil by Muddy Soap Co. And I cannot wait to try this one in soap. I've read great reviews. It's supposed to behave so well in cold process, no rising, no accelerating. So hopefully it will be, um, <laughs> it will be representative of, of the reviews that I've seen. Um, I'm also going to be making a mica decoration with this um, sparkle Gold Shimmer Airbrush Mica by The Fizz Fairy. And the soap will be colored with charcoal. This will be an all black soap. Um, it's going to be a lump of cold Palo Santo for the holidays, but after the holidays, guess what? It's just going to be a golden Palo Santo soap with charcoal. So this is how to make a holiday soap into an all year round soap and just changing the label and the name after the holidays will do the trick. So um, the activated charcoal that I'm using is from Windy Point Soap Making Supplies and they are a Canadian supplier. I will list all of the links of the things that I am mentioning in the video in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And Windy Points are also a patron of my Patreon campaign. And by the way, this soap will be on Patreon. So if you wanna make it, you can subscribe and for $5 a month, you have access to one full tutorial and formula, AKA a recipe. <laughs> I say that because recipes are for cooking, baking, and formulas are for cosmetics. But when we say recipes in the soap slime, everybody understands, but it's not the correct term to use. All right, let's go ahead. Um, I've already pre-mixed my charcoal with some distilled water and some aloe vera extract, um, some organic aloe vera powder to give this soap a lovely texture and color, black, pitch black. So if you've been naughty this year, you may get one of these in your Christmas stockings. Let's measure out the fragrance oil so that when it's time to soap, I am ready. In my stock pot, I have a combination of cocoa and shea butters from Baraka Shea Butter. I also have some coconut oil, some palm oil, ethically produced, organic and fair trade, certified by Palm Den Wright, and some olive oil. First, let's incorporate my aloe vera extract and activated charcoal to my oils. So this is a one colored soap. So we don't need to add the colorant afterwards. Uh, it can be added right now. All right, let's make some soap. Goggles, sleeves. <laughs> and believe me or not, these sleeves are baby legs that my kids were when they were babies. So cute, right? Okay, so I've split this batch in half and I'm gonna add half of the Palo Santo fragrance, see how it behaves. As a side note, the Palo Santo behaves beautifully. There's no acceleration, no rising. It's very nice and fluid, so. That's, that's good.
Let's set the second half of the soap and pour the second layer. Just for the ease of pouring and not breaking that first layer, I'm gonna use one of these very handy pitcher. And if you're a soap maker and you're feeling like asking me in the comment section, where did you get your pouring pitchers? I have them listed in my Amazon store, which is also linked down below. Voila. Wow, this soap is so pretty. <laughs> I decided to make a soap like a, all the way up to the top of this mold, uh, fill it to its full capacity. And now <laughs> I'm afraid to put the lid on because it's so full. Let's see. doesn't touch. Whew. All right, we'll be back tomorrow to unmold and cut. Yeah, time to unmold. Let's steam the top first. It's easier before than after. Nice, nice angles. Now let's split this slab. Yay, it's not tilting. Okay, hey, now for ju just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to take the Carter Pillar and show you how you can cut these soaps using the Carter Pillar. So if you are gonna get just one Carter Pillar, um, it's a great choice because you can split your logs with it, but you can also cut your soaps with it. 
So it comes with this little handy dandy little ruler and it has a little groove to insert it right here. So then we can take one of our logs and place it either this way or this way. I think I'm gonna go this way. It's a pretty tall <laughs> bar of soap. And then I wanna cut these at 1.25 inches thick. So I'm gonna take this part, which was underneath the caterpillar before. Now I removed it so that I can place it here, lean it against the, the side of the cutter and just push down. And voila, we have a perfect 1.25 inch thick lump of coal, <laughs> AKA golden palo santo and charcoal soap. Mm. Because I do have another soap cutter and it cuts 12, uh, not this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It cuts nine bars at a time. I'm going to go ahead and put the cutter pillar aside, but I just wanted you to know that if you had just one cutter, this could be the one. I'm going to bring back my multi-wire soap cutter and we will cut the rest of these with it. And voila, all the soaps are cut. And I'm really, really happy about the result. I really like the smell. It, it smells like Palo Santo wood, but when it's not lit, it's very nice, very mild, very woodsy. And before we set these to dry in the drying tray, I'm gonna trim, the, I'm gonna bevel the edges so that um, we have a more comfortable hold and it kind of looks more like a piece of coal. This is a soap beveler by Lilu Soap Tools, and I really, really like how it grips and grabs onto the table so I can just slide and push my soap forward. And then voila, we have perfectly smooth angles. And if we compare side by side, here's what it looks like. So we have these really nice trimmed edges and it's much more comfortable to hold. That's it, you guys. These soaps will need to dry and cure before being available for purchase. I will list them online and they will be available here in store as well. I hope you like the process of watching me make these Palo Santo scented charcoal soap with a gold mica line and gold swirl on top. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel. Please follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and on Facebook as I post regularly on all my social media and would love for you to join the party on all these platforms. So thank you so much, you take care, and don't forget to go down to the description box below as there are always useful links for makers. Thank you so much, have a great day, and see you guys very soon.